seems like just yesterday they were all at kindergarten and graduation. That was the time of my life, I tell you. Except I have a feeling this year is going to be a whole new ball of wax. I was very worried until guess what happened? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Lucille. Lucille, my bestest friend from kindergarten last year. Lucille, Lucille, it's me, Judy B. Jones, your bestest friend. I am so glad to see you, friend. Junie B. I picked a seat next to my new best friend, Louise. Yes. Yes. But I can be her best friend. Oh, Lucille. Right, Lucille? All I have to do is meet her. And then we can all be best friends together. I'm sorry, Junie B. You and I have already been best friends a whole long year. Remember? And it's only fair of me to let Louise have a turn. I say first grade is a flop. Last year, I had two bestest friends. First, I had Lucille. Plus, I also had that Louise. Me and that Louise rode the school bus together every single day. Only what do you know? Louise, excuse me, Louise. What kind of shenanigans do you call this, madam? Didn't you see me standing here? Yes. Hi, Jimmy B. I'm sorry, but I can't sit with you today. But I promised May that I would sit with her today, okay? No, Louise, not okay. You can't sit with May. You and I have to sit together every day, because we sat together every day last year. And this year shall be no different. You got yelled at. Grr, May, grr. <laughs> I could hardly believe it. Who was laughing at me during this very terrible crisis? It was her Bella, the new girl. I could hardly believe my eardrums. You said grr. <laughs> That was a good one. Yeah, only here's the problem, Harbella. Gur is not actually a joking matter. Plus, I wasn't even talking to you. I know you weren't talking to me. No one at this school ever talks to me. On this bus. Ever talks to me. That's because last year I went to a different school, so I don't have any new bus friends yet. Well, I used to have a bus friend named Louise, but today I am dropping her like a hot tomato. You mean potato? This is why no one likes you, May! Sit down, Junie B! Maybe, just for today, I can sit with you. Just until you get your bus from back on me. Well, if you want to sit here, I suppose that might be alright.
languages? Cool. Big deal. I know Spanish too. I can count all the way to three in Spanish. Does anyone want to hear me? Not really. Nope. Uno, dos, tres. That's when the bell rang and my teacher came in. Her name is Mrs. Gary. She made that name up on you. Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, I have a fun assignment for you. I want you to read these words to yourselves. Then, without talking to your neighbor, choose any word from the list and draw a picture of it. Oh, goody, goody. I love this kind of assignment, Mrs. Scary. I am perfect. I'm not talking to my neighbor. That's nice, May. Are we ready, everybody? Okay. Go.
ever happened to a first grader. It's even worse than an eye patch, because eye patches look kind of cute and piratey. But glasses, mother doesn't understand what a very terrible sickness is. Teacher, I'll give you the permission to start tomorrow. 
Really? Really? Why, hello, Mrs. Gutsman. Mrs. Gutsman, Mrs. Gutsman, Jeannie Jones is sliding down her chair so you can't see her, but I'm Jimmy Tucker. Judy B. Jones, why are you sitting on the floor? I brought something for your class. Don't you want to see it? No, I don't really want to see it, so you can move along, please. Mrs. Gutsman, what are you doing down here? I brought something for your class, but there's no one up there to help me pass it out. There are lots of people to help pass it out. I need someone with your experience. Well, okay, but some of these kids are still very mad at me, you know. Well, I think I can fix that. Sugar cookies! Sugar cookies! Sugar cookies! Thank you! Thank you! No need to thank me, class. Judy B. Jones was the one who reminded me to pay a visit. She's the one you need to thank. Thank you, Judy B. Jones. Ready to go, Hopper? Ready to go. in my 
my head. Honey, no one can be a star all the time. Yes, but everyone will be cheering and clapping, and none of that cheering and clapping will be for me. And I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You're getting very close to a timeout, Junie B. I hate timeout. And so I will stop that behavior this instant, Missy. Just remember that when life hands you lemons, you have to learn to make lemonade. Huh? What's lemonade got to do with this?
journal. Oh no, I've run out of pages in my journal. Does this mean that all my adventures are over? What am I supposed to do now? This is not a happy occasion. What's wrong, Yuri? Oh, Herbella, it is too very sad to talk about. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, if you insist. I've come to the last page of my top secret personal beeswax journal. Do you know what that means, Herbella? What? It means that all of my adventures are over, and that is very depressing and glum, I tell you. But, Herbella, what about your own adventures? There are no adventures without you, Junie B. Oh, Herbella.